Hi, this is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. And this is video three in our Summer Fairy series, even though it's September. Um, we had a big event in July, and um, I'm recording this in August, so it's coming out in September because our Once Upon a Time mini album slash journal is playing right now. If I had thought about it, I'd have switched them around. But anyway, um, so we we did these pages already, and then we left the center, and then we went and did this page. Now, I'm going to do these two pages off camera because they'll probably one will be stenciled and the other will be a pocket or something. Um, then um, 11 and 12... I think we'll probably do in the fourth video and we might be able to get done in nine videos instead of ten. I hope so. These videos are going to show all in a row over a ten day period or nine or eight day period. And um, so, yeah, um, I may do the second signature off camera and then jump right to the um, cover video and then you'll see both uh um, signatures in the uh, flip through. I'm just not sure. I need to get this up and done um, before it's October. <laughs> then we're going to have our fall fairies. Um, this year I know is a lot of fairy books but um, I wanted this whole collection and I think what I'm probably going to do is just do the fall fairies off camera and do a flip through. Um, you guys have had enough fairy books, I think, for this year, especially because I did Woodland Fairies or the Fairy Tea Party um, series for Natalie at Line.Arrow in the middle of the summer. And I actually did Woodland Fairies for a friend of mine, so that's going to be six fairy books in one year, so I think I'll be over it by the time it's fall. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're going to need all these papers in this die. Um, I think what we'll probably do is do one side um, and, and I know it's just a CD cover but I want to show you about lining them up and getting the uh, papers cut the way you want. And then um, yeah. So uh, these are going to be the fronts of the CDs. Let me show you the papers first. So these are going to be the two papers. Okay, this is going to be the left, this is going to be the right. So then we're going to match up this bottom corner with the bottom corner of the CD for the paper. And we're going to match up this top part for the top part of the CD on this side. Then we're going to cut out cards so that the images show through the window. We're going to paper the insides. We're going to paper the backs. We're going to attach them to the pages. So we're not going to need the top one for right now. And put it to the side. And we're just going to focus on the bottom one. So, the bottom one on this one is this paper, and that's going to be the front. Okay, so now we can set the book to the side. we'll just work with this. I've inked the paper, I've inked the CD cover, and the CD covers have been coffee dyed. Okay, so let's turn this around. We don't want to do this. What we want to do is this. So we're going to take our paper and we're going to mark it so that the bottom half or the bottom corner is what we have lined up on the CD cover. 
So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here. Remember to leave just a little bit for your, um, your border around. And then I've also already cut them for the cards, so that way I didn't have to re-ink. Whoops. So the cards will go inside there, and then we'll paper the insides of the back. Especially because, um, and we're going to measure these individually. We're not going to just cut out another paper this size and do it ahead of time for the other CD cover. These are from Amazon, and they're generic, and they're not always exactly the same size, believe it or not. Um, since they come, even if they come in the same box. And we couldn't just leave this coffee dyed in here, which would have been nice, except for the ones from Amazon have this little flippy deal here so that you can, you know, put this under the flap, which I'm not really sure how that would work because it seems like it should be down a little bit lower. And we're going to be putting magnets on them. Okay. So, let me cut this paper and go over to the giant paper trimmer. This is pretty straightforward. You just want to line the papers up the right way. Why does that look too big? No, it's right. Don't forget to ink your papers. It's easier to ink the outside before you cut the hole in the center. We're going to be using okay I just had it in my oh <laughs> we're going to be using this die here so we want to um, use this one with the scalloped and for some reason my largest circle circle is not present in the envelope with the circles. Now I think we use the second to largest on this one. I think the largest is a four inch and it's just the exact size of here which is wonderful except when you add in for the scallops then it cuts into the the paper. Hmm. I mean, you know, it kind of makes it show the papers on the all the way around. Um, you know what we could do as well? What we should do as well is ink this. Do it on the other one so I don't forget. I forgot you pretty much ink the whole front on these. You don't want just the cream color on the edge. If you get ink on the plastic, it's all right. You just wipe it off. Okay. So we're going to cut the circle. I think we'll be all right with this one as long as we get it lined up in the exact center. So we're going to take our ruler in the back of the paper. Oh, 
and we're going to draw an X on the back. And then that will give us our center. So from corner to corner, well, if I can get it right, That's our exact center. Remember to put the blade down. I've got my radio on really low so I can hear the music, but you can't. Because that would be copyright problem. From what I understand, you can play the first or eight seconds of a song and you're fine. Um, not on YouTube with the YouTube audios, which their system is a little bit weird, weirder now. It's 3.30 in the morning, so or 4 o'clock in the morning, so apparently I can't speak. So that worked out well. And save that. We'll use it as a card. Except for we have a big X on it, but it's in pencil. We can just erase it. Now, we want to make sure this goes in the I marked this left bottom so that way I remember to put this in the bottom. Yeah, see you can see the um, paper a little bit. I wish I'd have done one size smaller because you're going to be able to see the paper through there. Hmm. Let me see if I've got another one of these. Don't think I have any others with the picture at the top that I have doubles of. This is frustrating. 
All right, let me put you on pause. And I'm going to print this again. I do have two of these. Until it's upside down. There's one with an image at the top. Oh no. I need two with the image on the bottom corner. All right. I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to print out another one and we're going to cut it one size smaller. All right, I went ahead and cut everything out so you didn't have to watch me do that again. So we've got this. Let's just stick that one right there like that. And yes, that will go over that like that. So let's ink it. I should have inked it, but I didn't think of it. The good thing about using the CD covers is you don't have to put acetate on the inside. I forgot to ink the outside of this one before I cut the inside. Now, you're going to have to remember with these being coffee dyed, um, they're going to be a little wrinkly crinkly. Now, I spray mine um, to coffee dye them. Okay, let's glue this on. I think I'm going to have to thin my glue a little bit, even though it's full. It's kind of taking a long time for that second bubble to go through. If we glue it far enough, put the glue enough far enough in, glue enough, if we put the glue far enough in, it'll catch that center as well. does look to be a little bit off-center. Now we want to make sure that we've got our picture in the right corner and we glue it on. Don't want any hair in there. Good grief. Wow. Now we 
want to do the back. Let's see. Oh, we want to do the magnets. I'm just using scotch tape. This is actually the narrow scotch tape. I bought that by accident. But it's plenty wide enough. We're going to put it on here like this. So we want to make sure that our backing paper is facing the correct direction. This one, let's open this up. We want this one to go this way. And we want to get it over as far as we can because it's you can't really ink very much on the inside where the um, where the plastic is. You can only ink that little bit. So we want to make sure to get it big enough while still leaving our borders. We're going to have to cut a little bit off. No, we're not. to make the line darker so I could see what I was doing. Okay. So then we'll need to ink this. Then we'll need to ink this before we put it in the um, card box so we don't forget. We're not going to do that on camera though. Okay. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the page yet. I'm going to do something with acetate so you can see the um, image through it and do the acetate without the lace. Okay, so this is going to go like this. Let's double check. Mm -hmm. We're just going to glue this on. We're going to squeeze our sweet sugar bell bottle for all it's worth. Okay. 
And remember, I've already cut this edge and inked it with the edge trimmed off for the card. Wow. How did I do that? Because I measured in on that. what I'll do so I'll move this over further so you don't see that envelope part in the corner very much we're gonna have that bigger gap on this side and I think what I'll do I had set aside some washi and I think this will work and we'll put washi on both on the inside and that will cover up the plastic and seal it shut because our pockets on this side okay then we're just going to glue this to the paper and remember we want to glue this one on the bottom Oh, no, let's do the uh, inside and the card first. We'll get to the end. One we'll line it up with the with the line, and we don't want it to go past the border. We just want it to be on the paper. And it still isn't sealing it shut. All right, let's glue it. Look at that, the washi isn't even going to stay on. We're going to have to glue the washi as well. We're going to glue our washi.
this is the longest amount of time to just wash tape down or glue down a piece of washi goodness sakes And we're going to try to make it where we don't need the washi on the other one, but we'll put it on there anyway to make it match. Okay, let's do our inside paper. Which is going to be this green. And if we do it this way, we'll have enough for both envelopes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the whole 11 inch length for that height because if this is the size that it needs to be then we want both of them to be correct. Now remember you only have to cover the inside behind the circle make sure this is going to work mm-hmm we can cut the other one to match. We don't have to ink these. Now we can put this one over with the other papers. side would almost match but I think it's too busy so we're going to glue this one now remember this is a little bit directional because of the way the flowers are well there's one going down and one going up so I guess it doesn't really matter but you really only need to glue the front edge where the card is going to go in and out. You don't have to glue the whole thing. You do have to get your glue to come out of the bottle. Minor detail. Looks like I'm putting a ton of glue on, but I wasn't getting any out. I'll turn it this way. And slide it in. So that the edge doesn't show. And I'm going to ink this here. But you'll see it a little bit when you go to put the cards in and out. Sorry, I'm doing that off camera. Okay. So now all we need is the card. Now we want to keep this part So 
we want to do the card like this. And we'll worry about how wide once we get the um, once we get the height. Which I know I just marked. This gives us a nice pocket sized um, scrap. And then you can see that you can see the image once it's inside the pocket and I'll use the glossy accents on the butterflies. Then you want the card to be even. And then we're just going to put a tab on it. Now on this one, the page border is the blue, so I think, I think I'm going to use the denim, or faded jeans, as our ink. For our tab. We're doing our tabs in about three different colors, which I think is fine. And I just use the brown instead of the blue. Let's see if I can rescue this. Sure, because we can put the other side on the outside. I think the green kind of makes it look dirty. fold it in half then we can ink this edge then we need to ink this the little green pad under there. I wonder if I should brown the corners. Of course now this has a little bit of blue on it. that of course we're going to put a hole on it. And that's where we're going to put our charm.
And I'm going to let that dry because they can kind of slide around a little bit. So we're going to let that dry. And then we're going to glue this on. I think that looks all right. And then we're going to put this at the bottom. So that the CD cover lines up with the bottom of the page. We don't want the white to show, but we don't want to push it in so far that we can't close it. We've got that on there. We don't have any glue seeping through. That matches the bottom of the paper, of the original paper. And we want to put our magnet on the back. And then we'll decide what we want to do with the page. Other than that, this page is done. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on the other one, only it's going to be on the top. And the reason I did it this way, hold on just one second. Sorry about that. And the reason we're doing it this way is because not only will we have one here and one up here, but when you open them together, then it'll be like another page. Okay? All right. So we're going to leave it there so we don't have an extra long video. I've been trying to keep them 30 or 40 minutes this time. And um, I'll do the other one off camera. And then I will um, probably put belly bands, acetate belly bands on them. And then when you take the cards off, you'll see that they match. Um, or I may put a belly band across down here and just put a smaller card so that you can still see the top. And I think that would be kind of cool too. So one of those two things is going to happen. The only unfortunate thing is that the blue doesn't line up because we've got the brown here. But other than that, everything matches up. Magnets holding it shut. When you open it, it's exactly the same. Okay. Um, I'm not really worried about writing space on this one, even though you could write right here. Um, and I'm not going to put a pocket or anything on the back. I'm just going to leave it as a um, graphic image and of course I'll be putting the triple thick on that so it's more work for me okay so now this should fit in here with just that sticking out and then we'll put our little charm on it. Okay? Alright, well that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Thank you for coming by and chatting um, and I will uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.